I bet if I asked you, you would not know that GLP-1 have been on the market since 2005, but they've all recently just come in vogue. So for example, in 2019, we were writing about 230,000 prescriptions a year. By 2022, we're writing over 5 million prescriptions a year. How did this happen? Social media. So when these medications first came out, we were primarily using them for diabetes. And what happened was we'd have a diabetic with an elevated A1C. We'd say, here's your GLP-1. Cut your carbohydrates. Come back to me in three months. Let's see if your A1C is lower. If it's not lower, we would increase their medication. Rarely did we do more than two to three dose increases per year. And so the body was given plenty of time to adjust to these medications. When the drug company companies went to do the clinical trials on weight loss, they doubled these medications every four weeks. That is really aggressive. And with the publicity and all the patients walking in and say, hey, I want that weight loss shot. You know, their doctor's like, well, here, and here's how you prescribe it. And they're going up too frequently. This is where all of the harm is coming from. It's not coming from giving someone a GLP-1. It is coming from giving someone a GLP-1 in a high, aggressive titrated dose way too fast.